Hey guys, so today we're making some meatloaf. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Let's get started with the recipe. So I'm starting with about two pounds of ground beef and you're gonna season this to your taste. I am making a dairy and egg free meatloaf today because my daughter has allergies, um, but it still tastes just as good. And so we're just gonna season this beef up with whatever seasonings you like to put in there. Just make sure your food is not bland. Next, I'm gonna add in about four tablespoons of steak sauce. This is gonna help to keep the meatloaf moist. And then I'm also gonna add in about two tablespoons of yellow mustard and then some bell peppers and some onions. And then you're gonna mix that together. Try not to over mix your meatloaf because you do not want it to be tough. Next, I'm adding in about a cup of oatmeal. And so I'm using oatmeal in place of breadcrumbs. And then I'm adding in about one fourth cup of dairy-free milk and I'm gonna mix that together. You can use crackers or breadcrumbs, but again, my daughter has allergies. And so trying to find breadcrumbs that don't have cheese and all that other extra stuff in it is a hassle and I got oatmeal in the cabinet. And so you're gonna form your meatloaf into a nice little loaf like this and bake it in the oven for about 40 minutes. And then you're gonna make your sauce for your meatloaf. So I'm going in with two cups of ketchup, one fourth cup of brown sugar, and you're gonna season this to your taste. You could also add in maybe like a splash of liquid smoke if you want a nice smoky flavor to your meatloaf, but that's your choice. I'm also gonna add in a little bit of barbecue sauce to this. It could be barbecue sauce of your choice. I had open pit, so that's what I used today. And so you're gonna pour your sauce on there after you have baked your meatloaf for about 40 minutes or whatever halfway point is for you. And then you're gonna bake it for an additional 15 to 20 minutes just to bake it with that sauce on there. And that is it, you guys. I serve this with some mashed potatoes and some green beans. Check out my mashed potato recipe. I will link that in the description box below. If you wanna see a more traditional meatloaf, let me know in the comments and I can make sure that happens for you guys. I truly appreciate the support. See you next time. Bye.